Today we learned the elderly owner of nearly 200 dogs found at a Putnam County home will not face any criminal charges. These are some of the animals. Officials determined the dogs were being taken care of, but many were not spayed or neutered, so they simply multiplied. Today Putnam County held a news conference and had some of the animals with them. Many people want to know, how can I help? Well, the county laid out specific donations it needs to help these dogs. So at the very basic level, we have some basic needs that we'd love for the community to help us with. Everything from dog shampoo, um, hygiene products, even laundry detergent as we begin to wash and change linens, extra linens, sheets, towels, blankets that you may have available for donation. Um, food related to small breed and puppies is going to be our major need. Any sort of uh, care items like leashes, collars, um, harnesses, toys, anything that will help us acclimate and socialize these animals so that they will be viable adoptees in the future. You can drop off your donations at any of the fire stations in Putnam County or at the Sheriff's Office headquarters. We have a list of what's needed inside this story on newsforjacks.com's homepage. We've also got a link there for an Amazon wish list of specific items needed and knowing how people respond to yeah. stories such as this in the past and seeing those cute faces of yeah. those animals, we know there's going to be a lot of people helping out. Yeah, even at this point with, uh, you know, in the courtroom here talking about, hey, here are the animals and showing us some of them. Uh, that certainly is a, I guess it's a good strategy to get people to know, hey, this is who your donations are going to help. Uh, and obviously, Stacey, we've got a, a community in Northeast Florida that loves to give.